Andaman is one of the most favorite place among travelers and bird watching there is going to add another advantage for a bird watcher like me. It was in a wish list for me for a long time. On 6th December 2022 we got an opportunity to visit Andaman. Me and my friend took our flight to Andaman at 6.30. It's a long 3 hours 40 minutes flight but the first golden ray of the morning was mesmerizing. And we can't stop ourselves to film it. I must tell you, the view of small islands through the cloudy morning was breathtaking. We reached Andaman at 9.30 and our hotel by 9.45 am. Our first birding session was going to start from 2 pm. The first day was planned to explore Chidiyatapu. And on the way, at Burmanala, we spot Common Sandpiper and our three lifers as Eurasian Wimbrel Collared Kingfisher and Pacific Reef Heron. The sand beach was full of life. Then we headed towards Chidiyatapu and we spotted Crested Serpent Eagle Red-breasted Parakeet Eastern Jungle Crow Subspecies of Ashy Drongo with White Faced Brown Shrike and few more birds the sun was about to set and we went for evening tea and eagerly waited for the night session for owling. Unfortunately, luck wasn't in our favor and it started rain. Our day ended with 25 species. Our plan for the next day, day 2, was to explore Chidiyatapu first. And we spot. Black Baja Andaman Drongo Large Cuckoo Shrike Greater Racketailed Drongo and Andaman Treepy While finding birds, we reached at beach to find wood swallow but no luck. We also spent some good times with White-headed starling Freckle-breasted woodpecker Oriental magpyrobean Plume-toed swiftlet Asian fairy bluebird and Andaman Shama A beautiful and endemic Shama with 25 cm in length which is inclusive of 12 cm tail, white underparts with tinged rufous flanks, pale orange or warm brown becomes more solidly rufous on undertail coverts, black central feathers on shorter tail, colder glossed upper parts with a scalier appearance. Then we headed towards finding Andaman Nightjar. This species of nightjar found in the Andaman Islands only and sometimes considered as a subspecies of the large-tailed nightjar, however the song and morphology are distinct. They found in open forests of teak, relatively open country with scattered trees and also mangroves. After finding this endemic species, we headed towards Chidiyatapu Biological Park. The path of park was slippery though we found Common Emerald Dove Red Collared Dove and another lifer as Andaman Serpent Eagle. We also got some record shot of Long-tailed Parakeet since it was started raining, 
we headed back to hotel for our lunch and after lunch at gara charma we spot laser sand plover curlew sand piper olive backed sunbird white bellied sea eagle Pacific golden plover and another lifer as pintailed snipe we drove towards vandur beach where we got collared kingfisher white breasted wood swallow red whiskered bulbul and some good view of Eurasian wimbrel finding his food. We also spot Andaman cockle sitting in a coconut tree. A cockle with 45 to 48 centimeters in length and 234 gram in weight. Adult have grey buff on head, mantle and underparts, rufous purple back, rufous purple wings with tip darker bronze, wing linings grey buff, tail bronzy purple. Iris red to red brown to yellow back and feet are black Our last target of the day was Andaman masked owl which is endemic to Andaman The day ended with 66 species including with some endemic species Day 3 We woke up around 4:15 a.m. and after 30 minutes of ferry ride we headed towards shoal bay kalatang it was rain last night and weather was still cloudy we drove for almost 45 minutes to reach kalatang area for bird watching on mangroves patches near the shoal bay we found ruddy kingfisher then after andaman woodpecker Andaman tree pea Brown shrike Vernal hanging parrot Violet cuckoo Andaman flower pecker Small minivet Ashi minivet Black baja A rare arctic warbler Andaman bulbul and Oriental dollar bird A 27 to 32 cm in length 109 to 214 g in weight a stocky roller bullheaded and square tailed dark greenish blue darker and more blackish on head with blue throat and dark blue tail deep bill which is broad at base and dark red legs their name derives from the white dollar coin shaped spots it has on either underwing after that we clicked andaman kukuda black naped oriole and greater racketailed drongo we left the place around 10:30 for our hotel and are having our lunch we headed towards another wetland called orga bridge here the first bird we spotted as sand martin along with few barn swallow We also clicked a more stone chat. And my jinx bird as Richard's pipit, which I was trying to find from couple of years. Richard's pipit is around 17 to 20 cm in length with a weight of 25 to 36 g and a wingspan of 29 to 33 cm, a large pipit with slender body which often stands very upright. They have long yellow brown legs. 
a long tail with white outer feathers and a long dark bill with a yellowish base to the lower beak. The hind claw is long and fairly straight. It is an undistinguished looking species on the ground, mainly brown above and tail below. At the same place, we got another critically endangered species as yellow-breasted bunting. The bird is also known as the rice bird in China because the birds winter in rice fields. Unfortunately, their population is declined by 80% in 10 years. We were happy to see this unexpected critically endangered species. There were couple of eastern yellow wagtail wandering there. Soon after we spot another lifer as red-throated pipit. I missed this bird during my visit to Pong Dam. A flock of 20 plus oriental prating coal were resting. These 23 to 25 centimeters in length, 59 to 95 gram in weight, wingspan 58 to 64 centimeters. With short legs, olive brown back and white rump, ochre yellow throat, edged with narrow black collar, brown upper breast, white on belly and undertail black flight feathers and chestnut underwings with long pointed wings and long forked tail. They have short bills, which is an adaptation to aerial feeding. An unusual feature of all prating coals is that, although classed as waders, they typically hunt their insect prey on the wing like swallows, although they can also feed on the ground. Then after we spot another lifer as Long Toad Stint A small wader with 13 to 16 centimeters in length 20 to 37 gram in weight and Wingspan 26 to 35 centimeters Slim stint with relatively long neck, yellowish legs and toes Short bill, rufous crown and ear coverts With dark streaks prominent whitish supercilium and narrow dark laurel stripe. We also managed to click. Blue-tailed bee-eater. Black-broad reed warbler. And Oriental reed warbler. A flock of lesser whistling duck took our attention when they flew away. And we noticed there was a lone Andaman teal swimming near the water body. Here we were expecting a big flock of teal. But due to the water level they shifted to another place. Across the water body we notice a white bellied sea eagle feeding on his prey. Sea eagles are huge in size with 70 to 85 centimeters in length. 1.8 to 3 kilograms in weight and the wingspan ranges from 1.8 to 2.2 meter mainly white on the head rump underparts wings and back are dark gray in flight the black flight feathers on the wing are easily seen when the bird is viewed from below female almost invariably larger by up to 20 percent in size and 120 percent in mass they are a common sight in coastal areas, but may also be seen well inland. It was getting dark, and the sky was painted with red-orange colors. We wrapped up our session here and thought of doing night owling, but again our luck wasn't in favor, as they stayed on top of the canopy and didn't came out. Our day ended with 74 species.